Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and it's been a while since we saw Dead Space 2, but welcome to this first bonus episode where we will be beginning the Dead Space 2 Severed DLC, which I never thought I'd get to do since it was never released on PC, but thankfully there have been some developments that allow me to play this on the PS3. So that means my aim is going to be a little shit because I'm playing with a controller, but hopefully it will not matter too much since this is not a first-person shooter. But I thought that was worth mentioning. So let's get in here. Now, this DLC covers the characters that survived Dead Space Extraction, so upfront warning that if you don't want to have the ending of Dead Space Extraction spoiled, you should stop watching here because it's kind of hard not to mention it. All right, that was your warning time. So if you're still here, you're getting spoiled. So, this is about Gabe and Lexine, the only two that survived Dead Space Extraction, after Nate set the shuttle to head to the Sprawl. You know, he turned into a necromorph at the end, they put him down, and it seems they have been living on the Sprawl since then, leading up to the start of Dead Space 2, since this takes place at the same time as that, and shows what happens to them. So let's get in here. This is about an hour and a half to a two hour DLC, so we are going to probably do like three episodes for this. But yeah, I'm glad to finally get to do this, and it's nice to kind of connect those two stories since, you know, I LP'd Dead Space Extraction right before Dead Space 2, and then be able to go on to Dead Space 3. I guess we'll play on Survivalist again. Even with the worst aim, I think it should go all right. Turn up the brightness a little bit. So since this isn't on PC, it doesn't look as good, but it is at least running at 60 FPS, which the the base PS3 did not do. There's a handy patch for that. Well, Gabe survived, but it looks like he took some hits there, too. No, Mr. Weller, she is not available. I cannot simply get her out of a fertility I'm done with examination. You. Computer locate rig 784283. Interrupt and override. Authorization Gabe Weller. Tango beta 3. Sir, you cannot do that. You can't just interrupt. It worked? I'm going to. Gabe, what are you doing here? Honey, listen to me very carefully. I need you to leave there immediately and head straight for our shuttle. What? Why? Just what the hell is going on here? You can't just interrupt a session. He's back. Yeah, back. Don't tell anyone. Just get moving. Gabe, you're scaring me. Don't argue. Just get to our shuttle now. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. No. Get out of there now. Oh, God. So we're in the... Oh, shit. The mines where the outbreak Water, first began. Get your ass out of there! I don't want your wife crying about how I left your goddamn body in the mines. Now move it! I can Just take care of her if I don't make it. Extracting now. We're out. I'm not sure if we're security in the mines or if he was a miner. I'm assuming he's security because it's kind of what his job is. Looks a lot different than he did in extraction, but I guess these two hooked up after surviving that. All right. First off. Let's see if there is subtitles, because I thought I had those on, but apparently it didn't save that setting. Okay, and... Sensitivity... Default. I'm going to switch these to uh, L2, R2, because those are the big triggers. There we go. Alright, so... Uh... Oh god, that's real slow by default, isn't it? Oh, there's acceleration. Okay, so <laughs> that's definitely going to give me some trouble. So what do you got to work with here? We got the sniper and pulse rifle. That's the stomp. Um, there's our objective. All right. So now I have to remember how to play Dead Space 2 because it's been, what, about a year since that LP? Something over there. 
Oh, it's a mine. I was like, that sounds like a guardian, but less screamy. Do we have kinesis? Okay, we do have kinesis. Was the heal button always the same as kinesis? <laughs> or is that just a console thing? But yeah, visually, this looks fine. You know, I have the resolution doubled and... Oh, there's a piece of a divider. I have the resolution doubled, and with the 60 FPS, I don't think it's going to look significantly worse than the rest of the LP. This is definitely, though, not a weapon I want to be using with bad aim. <laughs> They're not going to need it. So I don't know exactly what's new in this DLC, because it is pretty short, so I don't think it introduces any new weapons or anything. I think it's pretty much just new story stuff. What's the zoom on this? Okay. Just making sure I know all the controls. Thrower? I wonder if there's not going to give me a plasma cutter. Because that would be too easy. That's the way to go. Um, what is sprint? Is that click stick? No, that's... Was there a sprint? Oh, I just wasted a heal. I don't think there was, was there? I'm sure the game will tell me if there is. It'll remind me. All right, we got a power node, but I can't imagine we're gonna be doing a lot of upgrading. Probably more likely to unlock doors. Okay, save station. Might as well. store. Is this just straight up better? Well, we don't need a different suit. I'm pretty sure that's just the DLC thing as well. Rivet gun. Oh, this was the, this was also a DLC thing, this rivet gun. So I didn't get to use this. Maybe we should try this out. Um, how many credits do we have? We have 50,000. This thing's free. I think that might be a little cheaty that it's free, but we do have to buy ammo for it. Yeah, it looks like we have a good selection of weapons available. We can just buy the plasma cutter if we want. Now, people have done plasma cutter only runs, but have people done no plasma cutter allowed runs? <laughs> because I feel like that would be more challenging. I'm going to buy a decent heal and hope that I don't waste it. Um, I do want to buy something to replace the flame burr, though, because it's basically useless. Give me the line gun. Oh, I gotta get rid of my flamethrower. I don't know what else I should buy right now. Maybe I'll buy a thing of rivets. I didn't actually read the description for how this thing works. Press R2 to fire rivets. Rapid fire is enabled on this model. And R1 to discharge embedded rivets. Ailment damage is possible. Okay, so you shoot them into, like, a wall, and then they fire out from there. And fucking ricochet all over the place.
do we just not have like a simplified upgrade system at all? It's still gonna make me put just as many. Oh, we got a specific secret rifle. Let's say it's gonna make me put just as many points in to upgrade anything. Kind of seems worthless. I mean, considering that this is the source of the outbreak, and this is before it spread to the rest of the sprawl, not a lot of necromorphs here. Hmm. I mean, the rivet gun's maybe not good for multiple enemies. <laughs> Or at least not for fast enemies. I was like, do I have a melee button still? The answer is yes. some of the pack here. Uh, I think I backed into that. I didn't realize there was no fence on that one. Oh, I kind of wish I bought the force gun then, though. I could be shoving them into those things. Ah, oh, god damn it. Didn't save any of what I just did. Gotta remember when we run into, like, this bench combo that we have to save after we do the shopping. I mean, maybe I just buy the force gun. Yeah, so this is just straight up a better one, and it's free. That seems a little cheaty. Kind of tempted to buy the javel or the plasma cutter, or maybe the contact beam. Contact beam is pretty much always useful. Almost a little overwhelming, though, to have all the weapons available from the start and be like, I don't know what I should be using, instead of having them doled out. All right. I mean, I appreciate that Gabe has a unique security suit and it's not just another version of one of Isaac's suits. I'd really go for the legs more often, considering that this is, uh, again, a console version. I need the extra time that gives me. Hmm. I realize I don't actually have a good way to finish him off. What is that? It's just a meat piece, I guess. Gotta be careful where I step. Make sure there isn't one behind me. I feel like there was a sprint. Am I just remembering that wrong now? Alright, 
Well, apparently we have a stasis unit if we're getting these stasis packs. Or we're about to get one. A lot of people don't seem to like the pulse rifle, though, and, you know, even in Dead Space 2, I had a pretty decent time using it. So I also wonder how many of the areas in this are reused versus new. I have to try to walk around not aiming because the camera is much slower in aiming mode than normal. Okay, we got a stinky area. Yeah, I don't think we could have helped him. Okay, maybe he's not actually bleeding out, which is what I thought at first. Hold on, I'll be up there in a minute. Got a lot of life left in him. I fucking wasted another heal again. Oh, that's different. I guess that is new because that's like the Twitchers from the first game. The stasis unit enhanced necromorphs. I don't remember those being in Dead Space 2, so I'm pretty sure those are new. I appreciate that Gabe has his own set of stomp sounds. Good detail. Out of extra ammo. Kind of a waste when one bullet will take him out. So I guess the uh, force gun by itself doesn't do a lot of damage. Unless they're really up against it. And I wasted my extra healing, so I can't heal now. <laughs> so off to a great start. There we 
we got health here. Health here. And I forgot to buy health packs this time. Oh, I guess I should have used all these canisters and stuff lying around. Also, I'll have to try to use the contact beam pretty frequently because otherwise I'll end up with a bunch of ammo that'll just go to waste. I mean, probably not the weapon to run around with in your hands, though. No, oh, it even says Weller on the back of his helmet. Yeah, I do remember this cargo lift as Isaac, because isn't that where we ran into Nicole, like right behind that door? And she forgave him. But not really, because she was never actually Nicole. Come down, Gabe. I've got your back. Nothing will happen to Lexine, you have my word. Alright, the new orders. Get to the gunship. It'll take you to the hospital. What about the order from Tideman? I know what I'm doing. Just shut it and get to that ship. Thank you, Ring. I owe you. Well around. Yeah. Alright, so I wonder if that's our main goal in this, is just to get to Lexine. I'm pretty sure we still need to escape. Dead space. First person. Oh, false. How did we end up on the ceiling? <laughs> I should have just yanked his arm off and held onto it until I needed it. What? Well, this is fine. <laughs> I don't even know what was supposed to happen there. The door is still locked. We're just gonna pretend that we didn't see that. I'm pretty sure that's still the same two VOs, though, from the extraction. Alright, everything is loaded as best as it can be. So, this is definitely not like an essential DLC or anything, it kind of is just a more of the same, but also continuing the character story, which I think is fine. It doesn't have to be revolutionary to be DLC, I still would have wanted to play it, but uh, you know, EA didn't give me a choice, which is always surprising when a greedy company doesn't give you the choice to throw money at them, but 
usually they only do that when they've already gotten a bunch more money anyway. <laughs> Hence, exclusivity. I don't think this was exclusivity, though. I think they were just too lazy to have the team board it. So yeah, this is all areas we've already been. Because I remember this place, too. I don't remember the base game having a bunch of press and hold switches. Is it just him, or...? Someone else is going to show up. Authorized technicians only. I was just about to say, like, I don't know where we're going, but, of course, we have a, a little button that helpfully shows you where you're going. This does make me want to get to Dead Space 2, 3 sooner rather than later, especially now that we have the announcement that they are releasing a remake of the first Dead Space, which eh, could be good, but it could also be shit because it is still EA. And it is from a studio that doesn't really have a lot under their belt yet. The ones that did the Star Wars Squadrons game, as well as the much reviled Star Wars Battlefront 2. But, you know, most of the criticism for that came from EA's monetization schemes and not actually from the gameplay. So who knows if it'll be good, but uh, I hope it will. Even if it means they're just starting over the damn story again instead of continuing it. There's the sprint button. I did remember there was a sprint. It turns out. It's on L1. Oh, okay, we need one more lockdown terminal. Alright, now that I can sprint, we can at least avoid attacks. Um, we need another terminal. Do I need to yank a battery? Oh, no, that actually might be it right there. Oh, two of the infectors. Yeah, I think I'm going to be using stasis a lot more in this DLC than I did in the base game. <laughs> so I can actually line up those shots. I mean, hey, this explains why the power was out and everything was shut off when we got here. Gabe already broke everything. There's not really a reason not to use stasis either. 
because like it recharges on its own over time. All right, we got another safe station here, another bench, another store. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna hit these in reverse. Uh, this is only two chapters, so my guess is that the two chapters are gonna be the mine and the hospital. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe we'll end up somewhere new, and not just revisit two locations from the main game. Really, do I want to buy ammo? I'll probably buy a little bit of ammo. I forgot that the force gun was not great in this. Like, I kind of hoped it would be better, but maybe we'll switch that out for the line gun. sell that because there's no reason to hold on to it in such a short DLC. Uh, maybe I buy a little bit of small health too, just to top up what I need to. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to save money. I don't think we're going to get an uh, upgraded suit. This isn't like the base tier suit anyway from the original game, so it's a bit stronger. I think this is a modified version of the security suit. So it probably has similar statistics. Alright, so maybe we'll actually end it here, keep it short, because it is a short DLC, and we'll continue our search for Lexine next time. But yeah, just kind of nice to be able to do this now. And have it work. Since there was never any real way to port this to the PC version. It's not like you just extract the files off the console. So, thanks for joining me for the start of Dead Space 2 Severed, and hopefully you'll join me again to see where this goes. But until next time, I'll take care. <laughs>